And this is what I consider the first third of the game complete. So now, since now we are moving on to a new area, which is essentially the Colosseum. I am not going to spend any red orbs because you can probably see it in the image there, but I'm going to be getting a new weapon soon enough, and I want to actually be able to buy upgrades for it. <laughs> a pretty good weapon. Yeah. Oh no, we can't go back to the castle. Whatever shall we do except find a way to go back to, go back to the castle using this strange circle here. There's a message carved in it. The Wheel of Destiny shall guide you to the land of the beginning. I don't know why it zooms into that. There's a message carved in stone. It's a riddle of some kind. There are secret dimensions where red stones hide. They will appear when you do the out of the ordinary. When you do the out of the ordinary! <laughs> when you do the out of the ordinary. <laughs> the funny thing is, this game has many grammatical errors. Just because the translation was probably rushed. Why am I having such trouble getting onto this one? There we go. Go, Grandma. There's a message carved in stone. Seems to be a story. Destiny awaits somewhere deep in the Colosseum. Neat. Secret item hidden behind there. <laughs> this is the point of the game where we're also going to be getting a lot of items. And I'm going to prematurely equip the grenade launcher because I feel like it. I also feel like I'm going to need it. <laughs> Just call it a hunch. It's like I played this game before. <laughs> new enemy encounter now that we're in the new area. Blades. If you guys, if you think these guys look like hunters, that's because they do. They were prototype hunters. Yeah. But you know, it would have been interesting to see, because I imagine they still would have had the shield. But now you have just a grenade launcher with unlimited ammo. Yeah. <laughs> so fuck you. Yeah, and these guys are absolutely pathetic to deal with with the grenade launcher because of being able to cancel into Stinger, which grenade launcher, Stinger, spamming that, that does a ludicrous amount of damage and makes them a non-issue. Yeah. Also, wait, what's that? I never noticed that green... Wait, what the fuck is going on in your, your HUD? I never... What's that green orb? Uh, this thing here? Oh, that's... That's the second health bar, I'm sorry. I forgot it looked that small at a certain point. Yeah, that's because I only have one uh, blue orb's worth of the second health bar at this point. Right. Yeah. I forgot that it gives you the second health bar super small. Well, it's not like the other games where it's a giant pip each time and they're divided pips. It's This is a continuous health bar. Yeah. Also, this area has a bunch of items for you to pick up, like the yellow orb, the blue orb fragment, and also later on... Well, actually, no. Actually, let me let me go over here real quick, just to get this out of the way. Also over here, there's this ominous door that totally leads to something, and then there's a holy water. There's a lot of items in this area, in particular. Oh, hold on, let me plug my... PC in. Alright. Mm. Uh, is it going well? Like, is it running well? Huh? Yeah, no, I just needed to plug it in because it's almost dead. Like, on. Ow! Okay. Hey, look at that. Another devil star. <laughs> nice. Like I said, this Which area I... has a ludicrous amount of items. Like, just from this one area alone, we've gotten uh, three items. Right. And another yellow orb. It, I feel like the developers were just kind of like, okay, let's give, let's make this area the reprieve, because the players are probably feeling exhausted after dealing with that one boss over and over and over, and they finally beat him. So let's give them a bunch of yeah. items and a new weapon. <laughs> but first, platforming that I'm going to uh, that I'm going to completely skip. <laughs> My name is Ifrit. The fool who awakened me shall pay dearly with the fires of hell. <laughs> nice. So this is Ifrit. It's one of my favorite web. Okay, let me... <laughs> Sorry. Um, it is one of my favorite weapons. Um, just because I, I like the the fist, uh, the melee weapons, like the fists, and the... sometimes they have leg pieces too, but this time it's just fists. But you do kicks with them, which is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Ifrit, a flaming gauntlet that gives the possessor increased powers. 
Yep. I'm not going to use it right now because I have no abilities with it. <laughs> when I get it's abilities for it, awesome. I'm going to be using it a lot more, though. <laughs> but it's also awesome because... Well, actually, you get to use it now. I recommend using it now because... Um, remember what I mentioned with the guns? Uh, it works with Ifrit, too. And also, you got a grenade launcher. And also, this boss is weak <laughs> to fire. Yes. Yes. This boss also makes a return in DMC5 as a summon. And also is just way fucking better, because in this game, this piece of shit's annoying. Yeah. Honestly, one of the most annoying bosses in the game. And you have yeah. to fight it. You fight it. I think you fight this one the most alongside Nightmare. Yeah, you fight this one three times. Well, actually, you fight uh, Griffin. Actually, I'm going to swap out of the grenade launcher because I want to be able to move while I'm shooting. And, I'm pretty uh, sure you fight Griffin. Griffin, and Nightmare, Nightmare, and, and Nello Angel three Angel. times. Yeah. Two of those are alright. Well, actually, Nightmare, the final Nightmare is not too bad. Second Nightmare is a pain in the ass. A lot of the late game bosses are a little too hard for their own good. Like, not even just like whiny baby gamer crying. Like, eh, it's too hard. It's more like, no, they're actually kind of bullshit, in a way, and it's archaic and designed kind of for me. Yeah. This one's okay, because it's, it's in more of a container, and also you didn't use the grenade launcher very well. I didn't even use the grenade launcher yet. Yeah. <laughs> because it's I'm kind of trying to manage my health. <laughs> well, yeah, but also you gotta get your shots in when you can. This is another, uh, this is another era, this is a PS2, okay, switch your grenade launcher. Ah, what are you doing? Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> well, no, it just, it does so much fucking damage to him when it, when you're in DT d devil form. Also, yeah, you're shooting fucking giant fireballs at him. If you get a good combo with it going, you can shoot in his health. Legon's not doing a good example of it. Also, maybe it's because it's hard mode that it's not doing it, but... You get, if you get him on the ground with it, it's a lot of damage. Because he's in one place. He's not flying. Yeah, I am just getting real unfortunate with him. Like, unfortunate with him. Yeah. Good, just in terms of how you're he's getting You're getting unfortunate. Ground. Yeah, you're getting, you're getting unfortunate, like, placements and stuff. You're getting unfortunate patterns. And I am also on the last bit of my health, so I want to make sure I'm not going to die. <laughs> yeah. Because in this game, the DT recharge is actually pretty pretty pathetic. It is it is in a lot of them, but it's also like more pathetic here than it is in other DMC games, I'd have to argue. The funny thing about Griffin that I'm just noticing now is that when you're close to him, uh, he actually cancels most of the uh, charged attacks that he does, like the, like this one here, that almost killed me, <laughs> and that one that actually did kill me. Sheesh. I am also just gonna go ahead and preface this a little bit by saying I have not practiced up to this point. And suddenly I'm dealing with blades. What? <laughs> yeah. That room at the room you get Ifrit in. If you go back to it, you get blades. I actually used this room to farm for red orbs so I could buy Ifrit abilities before I took out Griffin, or after I took out Griffin. My bad. Yeah. The thing is, blades can still be a pain to deal with because just like hunters, they have a leaping slash that I don't know if it actually is a thing or not whether they can decapitate you like hunters but it does do a lot of damage and it's just interesting to see if there is if there is that insta kill i doubt it though because i feel like they toned down some of the brutality from it being a resident evil game despite leaving obvious like references to it oh boy I feel like I might just die to these enemies in particular. <laughs> right. Ooh, there's green health over there, so 
go get the green health. Or I'm, just I'm trying nope. to, I'm trying to, and it's probably gone at this point. Yeah, and it's, it's gone. gone. Yeah. Come on, Legon. I should have probably put my red orbs into round trip, in all honesty. Cause that that would have been a helpful move. Yeah. It's a really good move, especially for fighting Griffin. Right. So also, the music in this game is like low-key one of the better soundtracks in the series, even, you know, all things considered. It's holy shit. Yeah, Griffin's some of the, theme some of the, is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Which is... I don't listen to it much because I just fucking hate this boss, so I don't think about it much. It's great how the dodge roll gives you invincibility. Which is kind of just like Dark Souls. Aw oh, man, I thought I got lucky. I thought I got lucky and knocked him down completely onto the ground. Okay. This boss is just a dodging game. Really. Which, with control as stiff as this, is not really that fun. This, right. Honestly, the f weird thing is, I consider Griffin to be the worst boss in the game, just in general. I am not going to uh, deal with the yeah. blades. <laughs> Smart decision. Also, you do? Yeah, I it's honestly awesome. consider Nightmare to be a lot easier to deal with than Griffin. Ironically enough, Nightmare. because he was one of the... Nightmare. He was one Nightmare of the two bosses times. that gave me so much trouble. Especially yeah. Nightmare died. 2 times. Okay. Am I good? Yes, okay. All right. Sorry. This is... Uh, Nightmare 2 gave me a pain in the ass. Honestly, Griffin... A certain Griffin 2 is where I fucking hate Griffin more. Same. I think Griffin 2... I, I would agree with you that I think Griffin 2 is probably the worst boss in the fucking game. Just because it's so fucking frustrating. Excuse my overuse of the word fucking, it's just that bad. See? You're getting pretty good damage on him now. Yeah, See, look at grenade that. launcher fucking... side roll. It's so good. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the strategy for this fight. Because he's on the ground most of the time. That's why Griffin 2 is a pain in the dick. Yeah, well also, it's like, that's why Griffin 2 is a pain in the dick. Because you don't get that behavior very much because of the environment of where you're fighting him. And also the environment itself. Kinda just sucks. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, now I am going to... Now that I finally grounded him... It's time to do as much damage as possible because... Aw, oh man. The charged attacks that you can do with Ifrit... Do so yeah. much damage. Like, that's the well, yeah. best thing to do with them. At the end of the day. It, it's... And yeah, it was interesting that it's like... That risk versus reward system was implemented as early as the first game. Every gauntlet, ever every melee weapon except for I believe Balrog, and even Balrog okay. to an extent has it. But um, I'm pretty sure every melee weapon except for Balrog has mostly charge attacks. 
Yeah, pretty much every fist weapon in DMC as a series has had the main gimmick of it be that, oh, you can charge every single attack, which yeah, for DMC1's detriment is that it only has one combo because of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas DMC3 has a few combos and then adds the... It's, it's variant is a multi-kick. Um, yeah. And then Balrog, they just went all straight out boxer with it, which is fucking awesome. But Balrog is my favorite fist weapon in the series, by the way. I'm not even gonna lie about that. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty much the best one. I don't know if I can say that, but Balrog is my favorite, and it's pretty much the best one by a mile. Honestly, I am going to agree with you on that. I think it's probably the best of the fist weapons in the DMC series. Yeah, which you know, because I think. Beowulf is cool. The one in four, even though I don't remember its name, Gilgamesh. is pretty cool. Gilgamesh. That's why I don't remember its name. It's just a name that's hard to roll off the tongue. Gilgamesh is cool as fuck, even though its gimmick is a little weirder because it is a charge attack, but isn't it, isn't there something else about it where it's like you, you rev it up to level? It's, it's like they tried to give it the rev thing, but not the rev thing. Yeah, they tried to give it like the exceed mechanic that Nero's uh, engine Blade had, but at the same time... Red Queen, uh, but yeah. yeah. Red Queen. Uh, pretty Not much what fan. it was. <laughs> the main Sorry, gist of what it was is that they turned the charging property of the fist weapon in DMC4 into just, oh, it's the gears turning as you're charging the weapon. That's the reason why you have to charge up the weapon. That's yeah. really all it was. Because it wasn't an element weapon like uh, Ifrit or uh, Beowulf. Yeah. Well, because Beowulf was, uh, like, divine energy. Right? Beowulf was light. Yeah, divine energy, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Well, because, like, Beowulf was, like... I don't know, he was, he was cool. Yeah. But, yeah. And now that uh, I so light, am a divinity then, stash, I'm going to get some upgrades uh, for Ifrit. <laughs> Balrog is fire, which is, you know, back to the Ifrit. I think Balrog is, like the evolution of Ifrit, because there's a lot of things about DMC5 that evolve on a lot of things from the series, and, like, Ifrit was one of the one things that they never really went back to, which was, like, a really cool fire weapon. Yeah. Also, Even though Beowulf is a better Ifrit. Once again, I'm just gonna point out how many items we've gotten just from this one mission alone. We're still on mission 9. <laughs> and I've Correct. gotten, like, 5 items. This is ridiculous. And another gold orb! Oh my- or yellow orb, look. Nice. But we're gonna need him with the way you're playing. Well, for the Griffin fight at least, yes, we're gonna need him. Yeah. That second Griffin fight- second Griffin fight's gonna be a nightmare. Yeah, and- <laughs> Okay, man, dark. <laughs> Sorry. This area, just real quick, is also annoying because of the fact that the gate, in order to progress and actually finish the mission, is locked off behind a literal paywall. You need to pay 200 gold orbs to unlock the door. Gold orbs? What? Yellow. Er, red orbs, I'm sorry. I was about to say, what the Yeah, if you had to pay yellow orbs, that would have been another issue entirely. That, that would have been like five <laughs> or six playthroughs, maybe more. <laughs> likely more. Yeah. Fortunately, I am at, like, about a thousand, so this is no trouble. Of course, they also do kind of bait it a little by giving you the divinity statue earlier on. Which, speaking of, I'm going to go back and see if I can get any more upgrades right. for Ifrit. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, do I want that? Oh, I can't even afford the orbs anyway. So I'm gonna get that upgrade, and then I'm gonna finish the mission. <laughs> and pop DT to run super fast. <laughs> and I suddenly stop running super fast as soon as I go through the door. <laughs> super fast. Okay then, I guess I got a D rank. Considering my performance on the Griffin fight. Fair enough. Yeah, now that honestly, that's done, though... It can't be helped sometimes, though. Yeah, that, like, that is fair. Pain, yeah. For now, though, I think we're going to go ahead and call that a session. Yeah. 
because we, we made a lot of progress. We got to the Coliseum okay, area. Like yeah, we got to the Coliseum area. We managed to defeat uh, Phantom for good. And now we're actually getting... So that fighter. Yeah, we've essentially gotten to the first third of the game. And now we're on to the second third, the Coliseum section. It's, it's kind of like RE4 in worst, more ways than one. The worst third. Honestly, yeah, you know what? When you say it that way, yeah, this is the worst part of the game. Yeah. Which is sad because of the better moments that we'll go ahead and explain in the next few parts in the next session. So, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.